Hi guys, Laurelyn here again and welcome to my unboxing and overview of the new Asus Trix GTX 780 Overclocked Edition. Alright, first off, I would like to thank Asus Philippines for sending this over. And thanks to John Robert and PK of Asus Philippines. Also thanks to Pinoy Unboxing. Thanks guys for making this video possible. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, we have here the new Asus Trix GTX 780 Overclocked Edition. This is their new line of video card, and currently they have two Strix graphics cards, the NVIDIA GTX 780 and the R9 280 for AMD. Since this is an NVIDIA graphics card, you will benefit more of its gaming features such as physics, GPU boost, HBAO+, the TXAA, the Shadow Play which is a good game recorder, and all that good stuff. You can also enjoy playing in video optimized games such as Watch Dogs and Batman Arkham series. If you want to see more in video optimized games, just visit the link written on the video. Or read the description for more info. Segway! <laughs> Moving on, Strix series consists of gamer equipments, so there will be headphones, keyboard, mouse and graphics card. Right now, I have the graphics card and the headset. Now, Strix is an ancient Roman and Greek word means owl. You will see that the logo here resembles an owl. It looks good. Moving on, in front of the box, we got the Asus and Strix logo. It's using Direct CU2 cooler. Now, Direct CU means direct contact to the GPU processor. And CU is the symbol of copper on the periodic table of elements. It's 20% cooler, silent gaming. So we have here a new GTX 780 which will run cool and quiet while delivering an amazing performance. That's great. Good job Asus. Asus always impress me about their product design and packaging. I really like the design of this one. And it has a gigantic 6GB of GDDR5 memory. You will definitely benefit from this amount of RAM if you're using a 4K monitor. Then we have the 0 decibel cooling technology. Now, what that means is, the fan won't spin until it reaches a certain amount of load and heat. But of course, you can always control and activate the fans manually using the Asus GPU tweak or MSI Afterburner. So that's an absolutely silent gaming. Later, we will check the fan noise, so keep going. Then, DG Plus VRM and GPU tweak. Right below is the system requirements. Always check the system requirements, guys, before buying a GPU. Okay, so this card requires at least 600 watts power supply. Make sure it's true rated and not generic. Moving on at the back, we have some key features and a brief preview of the card. Here's the Asus TG Plus VRM and the Super Alloy Power. This will allow you to run your card around 30% less power and noise, and will actually make your card run longer. That's a good feature to have. It also comes with a free software. The GPU Tweak, so you can overclock your card very easily with this software. Another great feature is, it also comes with online streaming, so you can share your live gameplay and footage. As far as the specification goes, the Asus Trix GTX 780 features a GK110 GPU with 2304 CUDA cores, and a gigantic 6GB of GDDR5 memory and a 384-bit bus. The card is overclocked out of the box and it makes it easy to enjoy playing modern games at the highest settings without changing anything. And it runs a base clock of 889 MHz and a boost up to 941 MHz, which is good because with this kind of GPU and cooling capability, there will be a lot of room to overclock this GPU. Okay, moving on. Inside of this box is another box with a golden Asus logo in the front. And inside of this box, we have the accessory box. So, another box. Within a box, basically. 
Okay, let's take a closer look at the accessories that comes inside. Dual 6-pin to 1-8-pin power connector, SLI bridge, DVI to VGA adapter, installation guide, driver city. Don't use this, download the latest from the official website. Then the graphics card. Okay, let's take a closer look. At the front, we have the two 90mm fans with an owl eye-like sticker in the middle. I think this should be orange. We can also see the aluminum heat pins right here. The fans are connected by a power cable right here. It also has a all-black metal shroud and the ASUS logo. It looks amazing so far. The GPU is 11 inch long or around 280 mm and it is 6 inch tall or around 150 mm. At the bottom, we have the PCIe 3.0 interface and some aluminum heat pipes. This is a dual slot car design and this is an open air architecture. Again, what that means is all of the heat is dissipated away from the graphics card, so make sure that you have a good airflow in your case to maintain a low temperature. At the top, we have the Strix logo and one giant 10mm heat pipe. This is the first time I've ever seen this kind of big heat pipe on a graphics card. So overall, there are 5 heat pipes carrying the heat away from the graphics card to the massive cooler right here. Then we have two SLI connectors so you can go crazy and use up to four of this. And here's the power connector, one 8-pin and one 6-pin. And right below it has two LED indicators. So you can actually diagnose if there are some issue with the power delivery. Again, this card requires at least 600 watts power supply. Make sure it's true rated and not a generic power supply. At the rear, we have the HDMI connector, display port, two DVI connector, and some ventilation holes. But just a reminder guys, this is an internal exhaust card. So make sure you have a good case airflow. This card has a back plate which really looks amazing. Just so you know guys, Backplate doesn't really contribute much to cool the graphics card. Now what it does is, it helps the card to be more rigid or straight because this is a high-end GPU. This is quite heavy for some good reasons. Yeah, the massive cooler. The heat pins and those gigantic heat pipes wants to say hi. That's why it's heavy. This amazing backplate will definitely help to balance the card position and weight. Something that I always like about Asus graphics card is their backplate. It really looks amazing. So thumbs up Asus for the backplate and for the matte black PCB. Good job guys. So here's the card installed on my system. As you can see guys, the fans are not moving at all. Don't worry, it's not defective or any system issue. It's the zero decibel fan technology. It's not spinning because I am only browsing the net. So yeah, that's a very minimum load. Just a reminder guys, before you remove or install any hardware to your PC, make sure that you're using anti-static wrist wrap to prevent damaging your system. Okay, now let's check the fan noise of this graphics card. I'm not going to use my Zoom H1 microphone to record the fan noise because it is going to filter a lot of noise including the fan noise or the hiss coming out of the fans. I'm going to use my Sony RX100 to record the audio and I'm going to turn off the wind noise reduction feature as well because I want to let you hear the most accurate fan noise of this graphics card. So here we go. There you go guys, this is an absolutely silent GPU. Again, if you're going to use this graphics card, make sure that you have a good airflow in your case because this is an internal exhaust and all the heat will most likely stuck up into your system. 
It's a really good GPU and what makes it stand out to other GTX 780 is the 6GB memory. Because if you're playing on a 2K or 4K monitor, you will benefit more from this kind of memory. And also the fan technology. DirectCU2 OC offers a great performance and makes this card a great overclocker. And what's good is, it even supports voltage control. So if you wanna go crazy, just use the GPU tweak that comes with this graphics card. The overall card design is also amazing. I love the build, it's very solid and unique. It has a lot of high quality components to make the card run cool and quiet while delivering an insane performance. It fits well to a gamer look as well. With all that special features, it makes the Strix an amazing and interesting product. So that's so much it guys. What do you think about this new Asus lineup, the Strix? Let me know by posting a comment down below. And by the way, I will be uploading a benchmark video very soon so make sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget to visit us at PinoyUnboxing.com where you will find our latest news, reviews, and more unboxing videos. I hope you find this video useful and if you did, please hit the like button and share this video. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in Greece!